Welcome once more to Optimal Play. I'm Brandon. I'm Steven. And this is our final video of Edge of the Earth previews for the Arkham Horror card game. Uh, graciously shared with us from Fantasy Flight Games. Thank you for that. Uh, Steven, how have you been enjoying the previews so far? Uh, pretty good. I think, yeah. you know, I neither one is like, oh my god, this is crazy overpowered. But like, they're both definitely, they're definitely cards I'll play. Like, they're not, yeah. you know, like, oh, this is fine or butter. Right, I agree. They hit a sweet spot of like, yeah, they seem fun. They seem fun. They seem fine. <laughs> but I've got good news for you. The next one might be broken. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so uh, there were, it was in the Dream Eaters cycle, right? No, Circle Undone. When did we last see gold cards? We're going to preview a gold card today. I think it was Circle Undone. Yeah, that sounds right. Enchanted Blade. I feel like Diana used Enchanted Blade, mm -hmm. so it had to be Circle Undone. So yeah, this is a multi-class card. I uh, kind of infamously was very harsh against those. I really didn't like them because they just felt like quasi-neutral to me. Too many people can play them um, yeah. as my iPad. <laughs> my iPad is here dinging. It's great. And FFG took you so seriously. They're like, okay, we're going to not do them for the next couple cycles. Yeah, and then brought them back. Uh, good news, though. This is a high-level one, which okay. actually addresses a lot of my complaints. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, most, for the most part, investigators can't play these unless they can take high level cards of one of the two classes. So to to me, like I'm I'm open minded again. We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, ready to read it to us? Sure. So ooh, Eon chart, uh, two costs, four XP. You're right. Um, so this is a asset, uh, book agility and wild icons. It's an item and a relic, and it's got three secrets. Uh, as a fast action, during your turn, exhaust Eon Chart and spend a secret. Choose and take two of the following actions in any order. Move, evade, or investigate. I think, did you say what classes it is? Oh, well, I mean, I, can't you tell that it's obviously some secret bullshit? Um, <laughs> yes, it's definitely secret bullshit. <laughs> but it's, it turns out it's also rogue bullshit. It is, it is. And it kind of fits right into both. <laughs> I'd say I like I feel like this is actually a pretty good like multi-class design it's a good overlap of what both classes do and not just everyone can take it because it's high level ah, I, I like it I like it what do you think yeah um it's you know uh oh wait and it's oh it is a relic slot mm -hmm. I don't think I said that before so at least it's at least it has a slot unlike Pathfinder which is just <laughs> like an auto include yep um uh yeah so that's basically six free actions for two dollars and four xp so mm -hmm. you, it's kind of like a one-to-one -one exchange rate um yeah i mean six is a starting point um what is the shoot the recent secret card that has threads in the title that lets you put resources on it and then spend those secrets for other cards yeah well there's yeah there's lots of seeker ways to, yeah. uh, to increase that, uh, secrets stunning revelations is like a you know common one too that's where my mind goes with this is like uh eldritch sophist all of a sudden has mm. four he has four secrets right yeah. four more double free actions yeah, yeah. <laughs> seems pretty good <laughs> seems like at that point you're just taking five actions per turn for the rest of the game <laughs> true yeah um can only do it once per turn, but yeah, I, I mean, as long as you can provide a secret to this every turn, if you're doing two extra things, that's pretty awesome. Now, does it, it says choose and take two of the following actions in any order. Do you read that as you can't take two of the same action? I think so, right? That is how I read it. Mm -hmm. It's not super obvious one way or the other, but I'm thinking that you need to choose two different It's a ones. little bit annoying. There's yeah. extra space on this card. They could have said choose and take two of the following, like, different actions. Like, there's, it's, they're not, like, short yeah. space for one more word. It's true. It's true. Maybe, maybe you can double move or double investigate or something, which would make the card even stronger. Um, yeah, that might be a rules clarification we need. Or let us But I do comments. kind of read it as different, but... Mm -hmm. Two of the following makes it sound like two from this list of three, yeah. not yeah. the same one twice. Um, but still, I think being able to move and investigate, move in, like maybe evade and investigate, Trish would probably like that. And I don't know if anyone else would <laughs> take too much advantage I mean, of it, but uh, any kind of solo seeker would love to evade and investigate or evade yeah. and move. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is probably even more of an auto include in like solo seeker. Well, the thing is, it's not an automatic evade. 
right? It's just an evade action. Oh, so they still have to be decent at passing their evade. So it's like tests. an auto yeah. include in like solo Ursula, I guess I should say. <laughs> right. Yeah, actually, my mind went to Ursula too because move move in anything means she also gets a free yeah. <laughs> investigate, and her and her agility is pretty high. Natural Ursula card, yeah. Um, I could not tell you off the top of my head anything about the... Uh, well, I guess the Seeker in the box is Norman, right? I assume because he had those crazy... I think so, That similar yeah. deck building yeah. rules. Um, I can't tell you the details of the Rogue off the top of my head as far as who in, in the edge of the and actually, box might actually, Norman exist. cannot take this because he is neither level 4 Seeker nor level 4 Rogue. So. Oh, right. That really bends my brain. It, it depends on who is leveling up into Seeker yeah. in the box. <laughs> <laughs> or rogue. Yeah. Uh, okay, I uh, I'm not familiar enough with the other <laughs> <laughs> investigators in this box to uh, to talk about them. I guess, but yeah, I think this card is potentially really, really, really strong uh, with just a couple, like more so in seeker than rogue, because just mm -hmm. just a couple of those things, astounding revelations, elder sophist, yeah. to keep the secrets coming. Oh, seems <laughs> seems real good. Yep. Um, I am glad at least. Because it exhausts the most broken you can get with it is like two extra actions a turn. So, you know, I think Necronomicon didn't exhaust at all. So it was like if you right. could, if you could spam that with secrets, it was like infinite power. Um, Lessons potentially learned here. It exhausts. <laughs> <laughs> but man, yeah, it's a uh, it's super good. Um, let us know in the comments how you plan to break this card, because I am sure that it's going to be broken. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty dang confident. Uh, and, and that's, uh, that's the end of the Edge of the Earth previews for us. I know that there are lots of others from other content creators. We're going to share all the ones that we know about in the comments or in the uh, description on this video. Um, based on these five cards alone, what's your hype level for the Edge of the Earth box? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say I would say pretty high. Um, you know, these are some fun cards. Um, I think you know they did. Obviously, they you know had a long conference call with you about how to fix mm -hmm. the problems with gold cards. I feel like they did it. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, so yeah, this is this should be a good, great box. I'm excited. I'm super excited too. Still for the entire cycles player cards coming at once. Mm. Uh, I can't wait to dive in, and uh, we're gonna have to book a whole week off work or something <laughs> to to record our impressions of the rest of them. But hey, we got three out of the way, five out of the way. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a time saver. Um, all right. Well, with that, we'll get out of here. Join us on Twitch tomorrow uh, when we're going to build some decks around each of these cards and see what happens. Should be fun. <laughs> Till then, be optimal.